Wix Editor X tutorial, how to use Wix Editor X. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the premium website editor provided by Wix called the Wix Editor X. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to click on start now over here and you're going to begin the process of creating your website. Now you can log in or sign up. Now I'm just going to click on sign up over here and you can sign up via your email or you can sign up with Google or Facebook as well so I'm just going to continue with my Facebook account and I'm just going to continue over here onto the Wix Editor X and start my uh, journey so I already have a account I'm going to enter my password and once you do that you're going to land on the dashboard of Wix Editor X so over here you're going to get premium features that are available on Wix now Wix has a you know the basic Wix website developer that everyone uses but the Editor X is for people that are more oriented towards these kinds of marketing and design and that have experience in designing websites uh, they're going to be able to use this editor a lot better because they're going to be able to get more customization and a whole lot more features that a normal person usually could not understand now first off i'm going to describe myself as a designer and a freelancer so i'm just going to click on get started over here and you're going to fill out those forms according to your needs now you can choose how you want to start now if you want, you can start with a basic template. So you can click on see all templates and you can take a browse through all of the templates that are available on Wix, or you could continue from scratch. So if you do want a lot of customization and you have an idea in mind on how you want to create your website, I would recommend that you start with a blank canvas. But for this video and just to demonstrate to you guys how to actually customize a template and make it fit according to your own needs, I'm going to continue with a landscape. So over here, you're just going to browse all the different templates that are available now you can see i really do like this template it is art showcase it is basically an online store it has the details written down below so each template is going to give you the details that are available on this template right below in the text so you can see what kind of uh, template that you're about to edit so i'm just going to click on edit over here and i'm going to begin editing this template now to get started with wix editor i would recommend that if you don't have any prior experience to editing websites or creating or designing websites you do go on to the uh, normal Wix version and create a website there and if you still feel like there are a few features that you would like to optimize and customize and you know if you still want to add more to your website then go on to the Wix Editor X otherwise you don't really need the Editor X for a lot other than for professionals or web designers so I'm just going to wait for this to load onto my screen now you can see over here that our template has been uploaded onto my preview section and on the top I have my navigation panel. I can see the width of the screen that we are operating on as the preview. And then I can see uh, how it will be on a tablet screen and a mobile screen as well. Now you can see this is the home page, and everyone knows the basic elements. So if I click on a text, I'm going to get the text pop up or the text customization on the right side of my screen. So you can see I have the stack, I have this minimum height ratio, maximum height ratio, the position, the docking of the text. So if I want this to be docked to the top, I can click on over here and this will be docked to the top and if i want it to be centered i can dock it to the center like so so if i want horizontal docking i can do that it is according to the box of text that you have selected now if you want to change up the text it's pretty simple you're just going to click on the text and then you can customize it accordingly now i want to show you guys the different features that are available on Wix Editor X and are not available on the basic Wix Editor because everyone knows how to change text and everyone knows how to change images and delete or add images. But what is something that is going to be provided better by Wix Editor X? What are the reasons that you should use the Editor X? Now, the first thing is uh, a core feature is uh, if you click on any element like this. So if I click on the text over here, this music text, if I click on edit text or if I click on the box right over here like so if i double click it and if i open up the settings from here on the right side you can see over here i can add any kind of alignment and then what another really great thing that you can do is you can go on to the design section you have all of your design features and then you have interaction so you can select a container and you know interact different elements all together and this will allow you to add different animations to your text or to any kind of element in your website so if you have this like box and you want to add animations to it you can do that with the wix editor x while on the 
basic Wix editor, you really cannot do that. Now, Wix editor does not have as many templates to get started with, but the editor X provides you with a lot more customization. So if I were to select an element, so the Wix Editor X has a lot less templates, but a lot more customization. So if I was to, you know, edit this text, if I was to write Jane's portfolio, and if I want to add another text block, I'm just going to click on the add section over here at the top right. And then I could add any kind of text or title, whatever kind of element you want. You can find all of them over here. And then below that, you also have your assets. So once you use a design, you can save it and then reuse it all over your website. And this is another great feature that is not available on the simple version of Wix. You also have your compositions, layout tools, text button, and all those addition features that you usually do add using the simple Wix editor as well. Other than that, a different feature that you're not going to be able to get on Wix is the layers feature. And you can see how everything is layered out, but this is very uh, simple and basic Wix editor, but in the Wix editor X, you get a lot more detail and you can section out, you know, basic shapes and the text and how everything is going to be layered. And you can, you know, create a more dynamic website using the different layers. So if I have, you know, uh, this basic homepage and this has a container and I have a basic shape over here, like this is a basic shape. I can move the shape above the container and then this container will be placed below. And if I want, I can move the text way above everything else. And you can, you know, realign things according to your own preferences using the layers section. After that, you also have your master section. So you can add a basic header and then you also have footers uh, that you can add from here. And then you can choose the footer design or the header design. So if I click on edit over here, I can just begin to edit the basic header that I have. So I have this kind of simple header, but if you do want to change it, you can, but with each template, there is like, you know, a header that is best fit. After that, you also have your pages. So you can see I have a home page, I have a shipping and return page, menu page, all of those basic stuff. And then you also have your site style. So if you click on your typography, you can apply a singular text font onto your entire website. So if I want this to be the overall look of the text on my website, I can just click on apply over here. And then this will change the look of all the text available on my website. And it's the same with colors. So you can see you have a specific uh, kind of color scheme applied. But if you want to change that up, you can just select on the colors that you want to apply. And then these colors can be applied onto your website. And then you also have page transitions. So you have a basic non-transition or you can have a out-in transition whenever someone flips through pages on your website. After that, you also have your app integrations and your content manager. And the content manager is very essential. I would recommend that you click on add to site and add this to your website as well. And from here, you can create custom forms on Wix. And you can do this with the basic basic Wix version, but it's very essential that you do understand how to create a custom form. I do have a detailed video in the description box down below. I will link it where you can understand how to create a basic Wix form and how to create a custom form as well. Now, after that, you can click on the tool section over here, and then you have a multilingual section as well. So you can create a website from the Wix Editor X and then make it multilingual. So you can provide the basic site is written in English and I want to translate it into another language. So so maybe I want to translate it into Mexican or Spanish over here. And you can choose to auto translate the site content or you can add your own custom translations, but I'm just going to continue with the auto translations. And now I have a multilingual website. So you really don't need to do a lot with the Editor X to get a lot out of the features. You can just get so many, uh, you know, key things that are now very essential on the Editor X and apply them directly without having to, you know, customize or translate each individual things. Now, I'm going to go back into English version and right now I'm editing the desktop version. But if I click on the mobile version over here, you can see this is what my website is going to appear on mobile site. It's going to give me a very realistic preview of how the website is going to look and I can edit it accordingly. So maybe I don't want this image to be this large for the mobile version. So I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to make it a bit more smaller and I can just move the music onto here. Then I could just move the text above and, you know, you can just do the drag and drop features and then move these like so. And I'm going to just add the text. I'm going to hold on control to alt and I'm going to attach it over here. And then I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to make sure it's fixed. 
So you're going to hold Control and Alt to fix, you know, text into different blocks. And I'm going to remove this grid over here and I'm going to delete this element. And I'm going to expand this one over here slightly. Or you can just place the text in the bottom one according to your own preference. But I'm going to just resize the text because it's mobile devices. People are using them a lot closer to their face. So I want to create like a smaller text font for this one. And you know, you can customize according to the device that the website is going to be displayed on. And this is just such an amazing feature. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create and edit your own website using Wix Editor X. After you have done all this, you're just going to click on publish and you're gonna click on save and continue. You can customize the domain if you want as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.